Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the THQ Arena. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the continuation of the journey to blood, sweat, and tears. Welcome, everybody, to the 19th edition of FPW Supercar. This is our opening matchup. And pay no attention to the sign that reads WrestleMania. That's just to say, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, which is our next big pay-per-view coming to you next month. And to start things off here, fans, a man that doesn't need a template or an introduction, this guy here has saved wrestlers' lives. I'm talking about the lives of Jake the Snake Roberts, Scott Hall, and possibly a half a dozen others. This man is DDP, Diamond Dallas Page, leader of the Diamond Mine. Wow! Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what I did, I did not expect this at all. The crowd on their feet, and I'm just applauding because guess who is drawn number two in the gauntlet for the gold? It's Jimmy King. DDP's long-time rival. I'm telling you right now, fans, I, I can't predict who's going to be drawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 17, 20, you know, etc., etc., etc. I can't decide. I can't predict what's going to happen. It's all drawn at random. And what is this match all about, fans? For the, for the newcomers watching this program, simply put, this is a 20-man, over-the-top rope, quote-unquote, Royal Rumble, but we call this a gauntlet for the gold. And what's the gold? Well, you can say it's for the gauntlet championship belt. Another way you can put it is, it's for an opportunity to compete for the FPW Championship of the Universe, the highest prize the most pristine trophy in our sport. Fantasy Pro Wrestling, FPW. And what a privilege it is to kick things off here tonight, fans, with Jimmy King and Diamond Dallas Page, two men who have been waging war, and it's been... Uh, more than 20 years now in the making of their unbridled rivalry. If I can even use that word correctly. I never had to use the word unbridled. And off the bat, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy King trying to get Diamond Dallas Page eliminated. But DDP hangs on to his dear life. All that yoga that DDP has been doing has, is, is I guess, paying off. And here comes Blacketeer, who has drawn number three, a leader of the Black Wrestling League, the notorious group that was originated back in 2001, thanks to Rochito Grande, or The Rocket. Yes. So far, fans... Three men has entered. No one has been eliminated just yet, but you never know. In, the, in, in past gauntlet matches, we have seen men fly out the ring within seconds. Look at this double team right here. Blacketeer on the verge now, on the cusp of getting eliminated here, but look at this. Blacketeer is holding on on his own. Oh, number four. It's Master Ken. 
Master Ken at number four, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible year he has had. All those promos that we have seen. In fact, him training Steve Fortune, a man that we're going to be seeing later on tonight for the uh, ECW World Tag Team titles. Steve Fortune has a chance tonight for another championship belt. Earlier this year, Master Ken, you know, trained... Uh, oh, hold on a second. DDP, first man in, first man out. Jimmy King able to eliminate Diamond Dallas Page. And now we've got Evil Uno drawn at number five. Whoa, just bolting in there. Like, Evil Uno is, is ready. And uh, Blacketeer now not doing much about it. I don't know why he didn't want to eliminate Master Ken. But as I was saying, uh, Master Ken trained Steve Fortune to do one thing and one thing only, to learn a Meridote Dojo, to, to learn the ancient art of a Meridote. I might be confused by that, but anyways, the bottom line is that dojo has trained lots of competitors, including Steve Fortune. Fortune earned the right to wear that gi. And even though he lost his, his, he lost the match for the Cruiserweight Championship, one thing is left remaining. He's here tonight. He's here tonight, and he's here to make an example along with Tommaso Capelli, his insurance policy to make sure that Fortune is alive by the end of the night. Because I'm telling you right now, the Super Squad, they're ready for battle. And who else is ready for battle? Little Mac. He might be little. He might, get in, he might be getting himself beaten up by two men right now but little mac is furious and you know who else is furious blacketeer that's who three two one buzz burnov i don't know we're not hearing his theme music but technically we're supposed to be hearing uh Oh, I forgot what that. I forgot what it's called. Satan's Sisters or something. It's the theme song of uh, the Hollywood Blondes. And unfortunately, Jimmy King has been eliminated thanks to Master Ken. Finally, Buzz Burnoff makes him makes his way to the ring. The first two men are in the ring. Uh, the first two men that were in the ring are now out of the ring. And this is, this, is, this, is, this is actually typical. When you think that you're going to be drawn one or two, you don't necessarily want to be drawn one or two because the, the likelihood of you winning is very unlikely. That's why you want to aim for the higher numbers like 20 or 19 or 18, 17, maybe even 16 if you're lucky. 15, yikes. But anything under 15, you better hope and pray that you make it out there unscathed. Horvath, the Hungarian Barbarian. Oh, beautiful German suplex. It's like he just goes in there, he slides in there like a, like a serpent. And he aims for a master cam. We've got five men in the ring, one more superstar in the ring. And you, will, and you will notice there will not be a, count, a, a, a countdown until at least one superstar is eliminated. Kind of reminds me of uh, WWF Royal Rumble for the Super NES. Those were good days. The maximum you can have in the ring was six at a time. And when one man is out of the ring, a new man comes in. And here we go. Elisha at number nine. Elisha Daniels, ladies and gentlemen, making his way into the ring. Hops right in there, and now we have all six men. Oh, beautiful kick by Elisha Daniels. And here we go, fans. Six men are in the ring, and you will not see a countdown until we have at least one person 
out of the ring. Two people, hey, guess what? We still have to wait about 90 seconds for, for the next countdown. And wow, Elijah Daniels already eliminated. And I didn't really pay attention to who got him out. So when I go to watch the footage, which by the way, you can watch this on YouTube. Oh, Tombstone. Then I get to see who actually got rid of Elijah. Beautiful Tombstone, by the way, from Horvath, the Hungarian Barbarian. Little Mac and Buzz Burnoff used to be in the same team called the NES Club. Now look at them fighting, brawling. Looks like it's going to be Little Mac's turn to, to try and survive this. Double cutter. Master Ken and Little Mac. And there's the countdown. As I, I, was, I, was, I was just about to say, where's the countdown? Here it is. Three, two, one. Horvath is gone. I can't believe this. Horvath the Hungarian Barbarian. This guy who's won a few gauntlet matches in, in his career here in Fantasy Pro Wrestling. And a GTS from Master Ken onto Little Mac and tumbles to the ground. Diesel hasn't even made his way into the ring yet. He's, he must be that slow. There he is. There's Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Seven feet. Master Ken, who was drawn number four, Quattro, is still in this battle, but I might have jinxed it. I might have jinxed it. Oh, Master Ken hangs onto his dear life. And Diesel, who is very easy to, to get rid of because A, he had many leg injuries, so he's not that stabilized. And two, or B, he's seven feet tall. His feet can touch the ground in seconds. It's no challenge. Oh, damn. Master Ken eliminated. And here comes Cursed at number 11. Here we go. Evil Uno now in deep trouble. A triple team? Have we seen this before? Triple, a triple team image on Evil Uno. And there he goes. Looks like he'll have to go back to Florida or wherever AEW now hosts their shows. I think it's in Florida. And I guess he'll have to recruit his Dark Order members, which P.S. Buzz Burnham is one of them. So I think that Evil Uno is not really happy at the fact that Buzz Burnham helped Diesel and Cursed eliminate uh, Evil Uno. Finally, some entrance music. Haven't heard that in the, haven't heard this particular tune in some time. Burnog eliminated. And now Curse taking the advantage. Uh, not quite, not quite. And there he is. The big man, King Matrix. At number 12. In, the, in these gauntlet matches, they're quick. I'm telling you, the numbers go down really quickly. And now that we're now we're, that we're slowly entering that 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 famous set of numbers, fit like f f uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, it's slowly coming up. It's slowly coming up. Oh, Diesel, almost over the top rope. I am actually surprised that Diesel was able to bend that way and prevent his feet from touching the ground. There's Terry Crews, another member of the Black Wrestling League. This should be very interesting. Oh my gosh, he's ripped. Terry Crews is freaking ripped. It's unbelievable. Now Crews... He's setting up Nash, or Diesel in this case. 
See, that, that's, that, this, this, is, this is the thing about, about these gauntlet matches. You want to get the tall guys, the big guys, out of the match immediately, or else they can cause problems. They can cause trouble for every opponent who's smaller than they are. Strong bad. There's the theme. There's that theme I was talking to you about. Satan's sisters. Strong bad in. He's the third and final member of the Dark Horde. This is Evil Uno's faction. Not to confuse yourself with Dark Order in AEW. Oh! Curse eliminates King Matrix. Too bad, King. Too bad. Oh! <laughs> that elbow strike to Nat to Diesel's face. I know. I know it's Kevin Nash, but it's Diesel. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Three, two, one. And here comes the icon Sting at 15. This is what I was talking to you about. Pay attention to the last five numbers of entrance because they're going to make a big deal down the road. And Curse just eliminated Strong Bad. Adios, muchacho. The audience chanting Sting, 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 Sting. And speaking of which, he eliminated Cursed. Now I think he's about to eliminate Diesel. Look at this. Sting. Are you serious? It's Terry Crews. It's Sting. And we have our 16th entrant coming up right now in Shane Gordon. Pay attention to Shane Gordon, fans. He's the guy who's won a lot of uh, gauntlet matches as well. And he's known for his, uh, well, let's just say this, his cheap shots. Yes, he's a heel, but you know something? He's a, he's a winner. He will actually win matches. Shane also lost an opportunity recently for the Universal Championship. And even though he never had his one-on-one -on -one match, hey, you never know. He could, he could receive his one-on-one -on -one match early than expected. Oh, Sting holding on to his dear life here. We're waiting for our next participant at number 17, 2, 1, Sergio Menendez of Team Mexico is here tonight. Terry Crews now with a half Nelson release suplex, turning Shane Gordon inside out. Amazing. Oh, Terry Crews, I mean, Terry Crews has bulked up big time. We haven't seen him perform in quite some time. And you know what? I bet you he's been working out so much more than just doing workouts. He's been training real hard. He's been training for nights like tonight. The gauntlet. An opportunity to become the future, potential future champion of the universe. At number 18, Robert English. Things are going to get interesting real quick right now, fans. Shane Gordon and English had a student-teacher relationship about three years ago. Look how things have changed. Look at Shane Gordon now. Shane is incredible. A spectacular athlete. And now, fans... The ring is building up, but I don't know if it's going to be building up for too long. Said Jim Menendez was on the verge of being eliminated, but he managed to escape really quickly. And now we're going on to number 19. It might be Arn Anderson. Or it might be the Bard, of course. The Bard. Member of the 5th edition, we saw Horvath earlier and now the bard is in the match things are going to get really different really quickly beautiful what terry cruz did i don't know if you guys saw that terry cruz pulled a sean michaels 
And Menendez is eliminated by courtesy of Robert English. Oh! Shane Gordon has got powerbombed by Terry Crews. I don't know. I, 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 I never saw that coming. I don't think anybody saw that. I don't even think Shane Gordon saw it coming, but he had nowhere else to hang on to. Beautiful snapping Hurikan Rana and Sting also eliminated by Terry Crews, whom, by the way, was drawn much earlier than Sting. Oh, and now the last entrant, Arn Anderson, another member of the Diamond Mine. And you know what? Arn Anderson came so close of winning. This might actually be his night. Arn Anderson might actually main event Blood, Sweat, and Tears. But we still got Robert English, we have The Bard, and Terry Crews, who's been doing an outstanding job tonight in this gauntlet match. La first member of the, of the, the first competitor was DDP from the Diamond Mine. The last member, Arn Anderson of the Diamond Mine. Incredible. Will Anderson get English out? This is a real wrestling situation here, fans. Oh! Flooring with that headbutt. The final four superstars in the ring. Terry Crews. Robert English. The Bard. And I guess what's, what's left of Arn Anderson if he survives this. Ooh, shoulder tackle. Good grief. English is on a warpath, fans, to get Arn Anderson, number 20, out of here. Is he going to get him? No, Anderson holds on. A ring veteran, a legend. And Terry Crews now... Gonna get the Bart out of there? No! He pulls a Shawn Michaels of his own! Terry Crews probably, probably got completely bamboozled here. Oh, there it is! An elbow strike sending Terry Crews a very furious Terry Crews. He did a fantastic job in this gauntlet. I thought, this, I thought, I th I thought he got it. And the Bard... English and Arn Anderson. This is going to get very interesting, fans. Oh, here we go. Double team. Double team. This could be it. Anderson has to think real fast. Oh, he hangs on to his dear life. What do you mean, T.O.? Robert English was actually... He was motioning to the crowd to, to, for, for a timeout. There's no timeout, English. You should know this by now. You've been in this business for 10 freaking years. Beautiful back suplex. What a match, fans. What a way to kick off our 19th edition of Supercard 19. Basement drop kick or a baseball slide. Robert English absolutely livid. And now we're down. The final two, The Bard and Arn Anderson. This is almost like deja vu. We've seen Arn Anderson in this kind of situation where he was down for the last two, but it was with Shane Gordon. And now he's with a much younger, fresher talent like The Bard. Anderson now in a struggle. But the Bard fought out, but I don't know for how long this is going to go on for. Standing switch. Turns himself, up, turns, turns himself around to the turnbuckle. This could be bad news for Arn Anderson. But if you notice the size difference, Anderson is much bigger. And he has also more ring experience. So it's going to be very interesting to see. Look at this. The Bard now in deep trouble. Will he be able to come out of this? 
I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Arn Anderson is going to blood, sweat, and tears. Pointing at the sign. Arn Anderson is pointing at what was supposed to be WrestleMania, but it's blood, sweat, and tears. Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made, but finally, Arn Anderson was able to win a gauntlet match.